everyone, it's Megan. Did you notice anything different at the beginning of this video? I hope you did because my best friend Caitlin so sweetly surprised me yesterday and made me that little intro to my videos and I thought it was so amazing and I love it so much Caitlin. Oh my god. I just can't get over it. It is so wonderful and Caitlin is one of the most creative people I know and I just love it and I thought that it was so sweet that she made that for my videos just like just because and I love that and I love her and I hope that you guys enjoyed the intro. I wanted to share it with you guys and um, I just thought it made me feel like a superstar. I was like oh my god this is amazing. So I hope that you guys enjoyed that. Today is finished by my fall finale because it is the first day of fall which is exciting yet depressing all at the same time because I love fall. Fall is my favorite season but that means that summer is over. I have to wait a whole year for summer vacation and it's not like I even get summer vacation because I'm no longer in school and it's very, very strange. So anyhow, let's get over that little melodramatic part. I have exciting things to share with you guys for my Finish Five by Fall. So I finished four products and one I did not. So I'll go in order of the ones that I finished. Okay, first I finished the NARS Via Veneto Larger Than Life Eyeliner. This I finished a long time ago and it got really annoying at the end because the little stub that was left kept falling out when I was using it so there's still like some in there but it won't twist up and I cannot like use it so I really liked this but this is a very hard texture pencil so I wouldn't purchase it but it was super nice if I got it again I would definitely use it up but the thing with retractable pencils is that they go so quick they go way quicker than like sharpenable pencils to me so um this was really nice I'm glad that I got to try this out but I'm not gonna purchase it oh my god this was so exciting I finished the Rimmel Stay Glossy Gloss in Nonstop Glamour like can we just you can see through this like completely and I took out the stopper of it and when people say that oh I took out the stopper they make it sound like it's no big deal well, to me, this was like one of the biggest struggles of my life. I had to use like the thing that came with my Z palette to like pry it out and then I had to use tweezers to get that out. It was nuts. But then I was able to scrape around the edges. This is such an amazing gloss um, for any price point. These Stay Glossy Glosses, um, they're not sticky. You get so much product for your money. This is 5.5 milliliters. Um, it's absolutely amazing. And if I were to need a gloss again, I would probably buy one of these, but I do not want or need gloss ever again. So this is amazing. If you want an inexpensive, really, really nice gloss that will last you forever, get this. Um, but I just don't want to have to see it anymore. This was also very exciting. All these things were very exciting. I finished the L'Oreal True Match Lumi and I took this thingy off and then scraped the edges and stuff with my beauty spatula. I really really enjoy this foundation. This is a great like mixer foundation with more um, long wearing heavy coverage foundations because it shears it out a little makes it more easy to manage at least for me. Um, I just really loathe the fact that this is N1-2 which is soft ivory classic ivory because in normal true match there's N1 and then N2 separate because I would be N1 but this is like a mixture of the two and it's just a little too dark for me normally so I hope that one day they come out with N1. I've had this for like two or three years and they still don't have N1 so I'm not really getting my hopes up but I really really do like this foundation but I'm so happy that it's one less foundation I have in my collection. Today I finished the Bare Minerals Touch Up Veil and so if you guys remember uh, at my update I was like I am not using this anymore it cracked and I'm gonna throw it out well then some of you guys were like just crush it up and use it as a loose powder and I was like fine I'll do that and I had this empty um elf hd 
powder container thing. So I just took off the sticker from the compact and put it on the back of this. Do not buy the touch up veil that's pressed. Don't do it. It's not good. It is so powdery. It smells weird. Oh, it's horrible. If you want a recommendation for a setting powder from Bare Minerals, get the mineral veil, the loose mineral veil. It is so amazing. You would think that a pressed product would be easier to work with than the mineral loose, but no, this pressed touch up veil is horrible. It is so powdery, it goes everywhere. The second you touch your brush in it, you have powder all over you. So don't get that, get the mineral veil, but just for evidence, it's completely, completely empty. And like I said, I finished this today. So I'm very thankful I was able to finish it just in the nick of time. Um, it did the job, it set my makeup, but I didn't like it. The last product that I have that I didn't finish is the e.l.f. Blush in Candid Coral. So I took screenshots of my progress the when I started, my update, um, and then now. So I'll put those here so we can see the progress. I made insane leaps and bounds of progress. Um, I'm so impressed with myself. This is the biggest pan I've ever seen on a blush with my own two eyes like that I did. It is amazing and um, Spoiler, I'm going to be putting this in my Finish 6 by Christmas, which I'm filming next, which will be up next. Um, but I'm going to like repress it and like put it in the middle and stuff. Hopefully I don't ruin it. Um, but it's just like hard to get anything around the edges now. So that's my progress. I'm really excited about it. And um, this will be something that... I plan on finishing this year and I know that I can do it. So I'm really, really excited about the progress that I made for products finished that I probably wouldn't have had the drive to finish if it wasn't for this project. So that's why I really love this, um, this tag that went around and thank you Jenny from Jen in Tenorless. She was the one that thought of this idea and I just loved it so much Jenny. So thank you for starting this and I know that I haven't been doing well at keeping the videos under five minutes but um, sorry not sorry. So that was that. I'm gonna film my finish six by Christmas now and I hope that you guys stay tuned for that so I'll have that link down below if you want to check that out. So thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope that you had a really successful finish five by fall. Let me know how it went for you in the comments down below or if you made a video please link it down below so I can see it and I hope that you all are having a wonderful start to your week and I'll see you really soon. Bye!